let's see how we can build some simple graphs using the basic process that I just described. Before we can use ggplot, we have to load the ggplot library. There are two ways that we can do this. ggplot is a part of a larger umbrella package known as tidyverse. If you've already installed tidyverse, then all you need to do is simply call the tidyverse library and it will load many sub-libraries, including the ggplot library and others that are part of the tidyverse, such as readr. You can also install and load the packages separately, but if we load the tidyverse library, we don't really need to do these two commands separately. So I will go ahead and load those two libraries. For each of the examples that we're going to look at, we are first going to create the plot using the conventional R function. And then we will see how we could create the same plot using ggplot. The data we will read in from CSV files, and you don't have to worry about where those are coming from. But if you did the earlier R lessons, you will be familiar with these as data sets that we have already worked with. So I will go ahead and read the um, data about Nashville schools. It's showing up now in my global environment. And if I click on that, I can see the types of data that this data set includes. I can use the hist function to create a histogram based on the number of females per school, which is found in the female column in the data table. If I do that, I see the histogram showing up in the plots pane in the lower right corner of the RStudio screen. To create a similar histogram using ggplot, I'm going to add together two different functions. The first function, which is the base ggplot function, is where I specify that the source of the data will be from the school data data frame that I loaded here. And after that, I will add the geometry for a histogram. Within the geom for histogram, I'm going to specify what the values are that I'm going to plot by expressing it as an aesthetic. That's what the AES is here. I also can control the bin width. That's the number of items that are in the range shown in a particular bar in the histogram. I can set that using this setting here. So the histogram that I get is very similar to the one I got with the hist function. It's uh, displayed a little differently, but and we'll learn how to control how it looks later on. If I want to flip back and forth between the plots in the plot window, I can use this back and forward arrows to compare the plot that I made with the generic function with the plot that I made with ggplot. 